how to create presets in Adobe Lightroom. So stick around. Hey everybody, what's going on? Claudio here. Thanks so much for checking out this video. Today I'm going to share with you how to create presets in Adobe Lightroom. This is a great way to quickly edit your photos. You have a certain set of presets that you can apply to images and then get those images shared out wherever they need to be, printed or on social media. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. I've got Lightroom launched here on my computer. You can see all my images here. And one thing I want to say about using presets is whenever you create one, like I'm going to here on the computer, the great thing because this is a cloud-based app, now, although it's on the computer here, it syncs up. So this preset will actually be available on my mobile device, on the iPad, Android. And speaking of presets, I've got this image here launched. And as you can see, I've got the edit window open. And down here at the bottom, you have presets. So when you click on presets, you're going to see all your presets. So if you can see here, there are presets that come with Lightroom set up like this right here, which is color that you can go through. So if you just hover over, you'll see the preset kind of applied to the image there. And if I scroll back out, you see the original image. So these are your Adobe Lightroom presets that come already. Now there are other companies or folks that create their own presets and you can purchase them. Some of them are given away for free. If you see, I've got all these different ones here. Peter McKinnon, amazing photographer, videographer. If you don't know him, go check him out. And then right here, these are Claudio's Lightroom presets. Now these are ones that I've created over time and different ones will look different depending on the photo. So for example, if I do this, this is kind of, I call this the black and white Sharpie punch. Uh, as you can see what happens to the photo, let me click out or say hover out and hover over. So if I go through here, all the different ones, you see this one says coffee cup. Some presets will work for certain images, some will not. Crypt, crypto, and this one right here, dark matter, New Orleans street, uh, too bright. Uh, if you've seen a light, red wall, uh, that one looks actually kind of cool. And then you got snow drone. We had uh, snow a while back, so I created a preset for the shots shot with the drone in the snow, subdued, uh, and this one's called sunny side up. For example, let's just say I like this uh, snow drone. Let's just, there, I'm done. This one's already set up. So let's head back out to some other photos. And now let's walk through creating a preset here. So I'm going to use this shot right here. This one was taken at the silos in Waco, um, it's a place that we enjoy visiting. So let's go ahead and start editing this first. So that's the first thing you'll want to do is edit the photo for the way you want it to look like. So this was an overcast day. So what I may do is uh, let's work on the contrast a little bit. Let's maybe bring up the exposure just a tad, maybe, maybe even not, maybe bring it down a bit. There we go. So we can see the clouds in there. Uh, let's see, maybe boost the shadows a bit. Let's see what the highlights does. Okay, not too much. How about the whites? We bring the blacks down a bit. Okay, so that's kind of good there. So let's go down to color and let's see. Do we want to just do the overall white balance for the whole shot? Maybe let's bring the saturation down a bit. And let's look at the green down here. Do we want to boost that grass in the front? Maybe we want to do that boost the grass and then there's a the ball there. There's a red ball right there. So if we want to boost that red. We could, if we want to or not, depends. All right, so we've got that. And then some effects. Now the silos has got that rust around it. And uh, what I can do is add some texture to that image. So let's, let's zoom in a little bit here. So let's bring that down so you can see. So there's like no text, like 100% hundred negative texture and then a hundred a hundred percent or a hundred then that's like too much so let's maybe go right there let's maybe bring the clarity up a bit all right that's not too bad the haze let's see let's maybe just a tiny bit so let's go back out and then okay I think I want to let's see temperature let's see add maybe add a little bit of warmth to that let's see here's like completely cold let's add some warmth to that just a tad bit 
could still maybe bring the saturation down a little bit, but st it's still a warm photo. Vibrance up, yeah, too much. Like it gets a little yellowy. Let's bring the vibrance down a bit. Let's say I'm happy with this edit. So really quick, let's go and look at the original. There's the original and there's with the preset. So if let's say I like this preset, so then what I'm going to do right up here, let's go up, let's click on preset. And right here where it says Claudio's, we're gonna do this. Up here at the top, there are these three dots. We're going to create a preset. And right here, it's going to tell you the different options that you added. So I did effect light, color, effects. I don't think I did anything with optics, but just to be safe, I'm gonna leave it. And let's call this silo effect. And right here where it says group, I can tell where I wanted to add it. If you wanna create a new preset, so maybe you were at a wedding and you shot pictures and you wanna create a preset just for that wedding. So you can say, you can just call this wedding preset or you were at a park. So that way you can organize your presets and know you know where that preset is. But I'm just gonna leave mine in Claudio's Lightroom preset and click save. And just like that, I've created a preset for the shot. Now let's see how this preset looks on another image. So this right here was also taken at the same time we were there at the silo. So let's see what the preset looks like here. Uh, let's see, where is that silo effect? There it is. All right, not too bad. And I'm gonna go ahead and use the preset. So that green looks, uh, you know, that, um, I'm not sure what this green is called, hunter green. I think that's what it is, hunter green. Looks pretty cool. I think I'll go with that. If I wanted to, let's just, see what coffee cup looks like. Now it's a little too dark there. So I think I'm gonna keep it at silo. Now, if I want to start off with this effect and just do a little bit more. So if you notice, see how everything's already adjusted to that effect, or I should say that preset. And if I want to, you know, maybe bring the shadows up a bit more just for this image, but it's not going to affect the preset. It's just going to affect that photo. So maybe bring the shadows down a bit, but it gives me a good starting point to kind of get this job done quicker. So there we go. Creating presets in Adobe Lightroom. The preset is now synced up to the cloud so I can hop on over to my mobile phone and use this preset on other images. So let's take a look. Now that I've got Lightroom launched on my phone here, we're gonna go ahead and look into this picture here, the one I edited on the computer and scroll down here at the bottom, you see light, color, and effects. It's got those little arrows underneath. If I click on it, you can see that it has already been edited and that's because the preset was applied to this, or actually I edited, but then saved the preset. Let's go ahead and look at this right here as well. You can see it's already got the preset done. So let's take a look at the presets here to look for the silo effect preset that I created. I'm going to go ahead and use this image right here. For example, it has no edits on it. You can see there's no arrows. And scroll right here was this presets. And there I have Claudio's Lightroom presets. Let's scroll down and let's see, boom, there is a silo effect preset. So if I click on there, now this image has that one applied to it. And already my job is done just like that. And that's how you can create presets in Adobe Lightroom. If you're interested in importing presets, I'll include a link to a file on how to import presets, as well as a link to this preset that I created, the silo effect. And maybe I'll throw in another one. I'll have links to those in the description as well. So you can go ahead and use them. If you have any questions or comments about this video, please do leave it in the comment section. Don't forget, like this video, subscribe if you haven't done so. Click the bell to be notified for future videos. Please share this video with others. Thank you again for stopping by and checking out this video. And as always, be good to one another. Peace, I'm out.